kids, my name is Sydney, and one of my favorite things to do on a Sunday morning is to sing with you guys. So let's stand up and worship.
Hello everyone, I'm Titus. And I'm Brian. And today, we are here to tell you a Bible story. Now, today's story is about one of the most famous heroes in all Bible times, King David. <laughs> but our story begins long before David was king, so let's rewind. <laughs> so when David was just a boy. Now David was the youngest of eight brothers, so he had to do jobs nobody else wanted to do. David had to take care of his father's sheep. It turns out that David was actually a real good shepherd. In fact, one day, a lion attacked the sheep. Ooh. Meow. What was that? You said a cat attacked. Like, no. yes! No, no, I mean like, no, I said like a lion, like a, a ferocious lion. Roar! Yeah, much, much better. Okay. But David fought back and killed the lion. <laughs> I'm dead. Then another day, a bear attacked the sheep. <laughs> But David fought back and killed the lion. <laughs> I killed the bear. I'm dead too. While David was uh, taking care of his sheep, his brothers had much important jobs to do. His his brothers were in the Israelite army, but pre uh, preparing for an epic battle. Ooh, epic battle! Yeah. Wait, wait, <laughs> Brian! Stop! 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 Brian! Oh uh, yes. Uh, one question for you. Yes. What was that? Uh, you said epic battle. I mean, it was epic, don't you think? Yeah, okay, got it. But, I, I, I guess I did say that. But this was like thousands of years ago. Okay. Like, back then. Like, in Bible times. Okay. They didn't have guns or grenades or any of that crazy stuff back then. They didn't have guns? No. W what did they have? They had, like, swords. like. Swords? Hmm... What about guns that shoot swords? Well, those don't exist. Maybe they should. Well, they don't. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just get back to the story. Okay. And turn the dramatic sound just a notch or three. Down? Or okay. okay. Let's get back to the story. So while David's brothers were preparing for this epic battle with, so with swords... David's father was concerned about them, so he sent back on. Uh, he sent David on an errand to bring them some food out on the battlefield. David gathered some grain, bread, meat, and cheese. Ooh, I like where this is going. It's my favorite, Lunchables. Okay, Brian. Once again, this took this took place in Bible times. Yeah. So they didn't they didn't have Lunchables. They didn't have Lunchables. No. Ho Hold the brakes. You're telling me, first you tell me, that they didn't have guns. That's, that's true. And, and now you're telling me they don't have Lunchables? That is also correct. I mean, pretty soon you're going to tell me they didn't have cell phones. Well, they didn't either. I knew it. <sighs> when David brings the food to his brothers, they were all hiding because out on the battlefield, there was a giant with a massive sword. Shwing. He was shielded in bronze. Bronze. He stood ten feet tall, and his name was Goliath. I'm Goliath. Why, why are you talking like that? This is how giants talk. How do you know this? I saw it on the Discovery Channel. Um, oh, whatever. So when David arrived on the battlefield, Goliath was insulting the people of God <laughs> and even cursing God himself. None yeah. of the other soldiers wanted to fight Goliath. They were all hiding. But David knew that with God on his side, Goliath didn't stand a chance. So David came up with a plan. He went down to a stream and picked up five smooth stones. Okay, so uh, here I'm at the stream, and uh, I'm going to get my stones. Oh, here's a smooth one. One. And uh, two, and uh, oh, that's way too jaggedy. You're, you can have that one. And uh, let's see here, three, and uh, uh oh, Brian, what is that? It's a fish. Brian, put it down. Put it back. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Here's uh, ooh, I like that fourth one. And um, ooh, this one is uh, ooh, this one's squishy, squish, squish. Yeah, that's that's because it's a frog, Brian. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Okay. No, Brian. All right, and then uh, the fifth one is smooth. Okay, I got all my I got all my stones. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so David marched onto the battlefield. Right at the giant, when Goliath saw him coming, he started to make fun of David. But David wasn't bothered by that. 
Goliath was saying, he know with God he knew with God on his side, Goliath didn't stand a chance. David reached into his bag, Sweet. got a stone. Squishy, 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 squishy. You saw that frog, don't you? Uh, maybe. Just, Brian, can you please get rid of the frog? No, he's so cute. Br Brian, can you please get rid of the frog? Uh, his name is Fred. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Yes? Get rid of the frog. Okay, fine. Oh. Brian! Spit it out! Mm -mm. Spit it out! Mm -mm. Spit him out! Ooh, that was salty. Did you just eat that frog? Maybe. Yes. Okay. David reached into his bag and pulled out a stone. Shoop. He put it in the sling Shoop. and began to spin it around Shoop. and around. Just then, Goliath drew his massive sword and charged. The giant stormed, or the giant stormed around the battlefield, right towards David. But David held his ground because he knew, with God on his side, he was invincible. As Goliath got closer, he began to spin the stone faster and faster and faster, waiting for the perfect shot. He took a deep breath and let it rip. <laughs> was that? You said he let it rip. No, like he threw the stone. He like flung it. He let it Oh, fly. like, shoo! Yeah, much better, much better. Oh, that, that, that's my bad. It's my bad. I'm sorry. We, we can go back. Okay. Let's go. And the stone flew through the air shoo! and it hit Goliath right between the shoo! eyes and oh. it sunk into his head. Oh. Goliath fell to the ground. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! 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 You done now? Oh, okay, I'm fine. And, and I'm Brian. Okay, we can keep going. Okay. Okay, let's finish the story. So David reached down and picked up Goliath's sword. Shoot! And he chopped off his head. Shwah! And all the army saw what David had done and that he had defeated Goliath. We are the champions, my friends. That day, all of Israel saw that when you have, have God with you, nothing is too big for you. And that even though David was just a boy, he could still do great things God had for him. The end. What a great story we just heard about David and Goliath. Awesome job, Brian and Titus. This week, our Bible verse comes from Philippians 4, verse 13. It says, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. We can do all things through God who gives us strength. Just like we saw in our story that David got his strength from God. He knew that no matter what was going to happen with Goliath, that God was on his side and that he knew he could defeat him. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for strengthening us. Thank you for everything that you give to us and everything that you provide for us. We love you so much and we pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today for Church Online. We're having so much fun getting to tell awesome stories with you guys. Hey, this week we want to see how you post our verse and how you're learning it. Have your parents tag us on social media and we'll see you next weekend. Have a great week.